Right, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> These fucking pants are itching my legs off, bro, but they're on, so they're gonna stay on. Um, cool, so, um, we're just having breakfast. We're gonna train today, but uh, week one of prep starts this week. I fucking can't wait, because I'm sick of being fat. Oh, um, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that again? Not good. <laughs> like that last video that we did is probably looks so fat. So anyway, that's that's what's going on. Week one of prep starts. Sixteen week prep leading into the show. It's time for meal one and then we're gonna make meal two before we go train. Um Josh will be training with us today, aka Smokes. Um and we are going to do a chest and arm session. Then we're gonna have a bit of physio, maybe do a bit of posing again, because I need to redeem myself. Um, and that's kind of it. It's just, oh yeah, we're gonna go for a haircut. We need a haircut. That's why we've got a hat on this morning. Um, cut to the next scene of eating. Morning, Rip. Straight down, gullet. I'm gonna get breakfast in. I'm not very hungry. It is very early, and I went to bed very late, like a naughty boy last night. <laughs> I've had five hours sleep and I'm s my last meal was like 11.30 so I'm really not hungry. Appetite is dropping but we have like three days left. Wait, what's today? Wednesday? Yeah. We actually have one day left. <coughs> Get in. Oh no, I start out on Friday. Um, but anyway, um, I wanted to talk about why I got into, why I'm, I'm competing. Now, originally I started this journey to increase my knowledge and experience um, to give my clients more. Um, and the deeper and deeper I've got into this, I'm gonna fucking win. <laughs> I didn't put much expectation on myself. And now I'm just like, no first time has been. No chance, it's not happening. And if it does, you'll never see the evidence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a very competitive guy. Um, and after seeing Joe Gann win at the weekend, it just in inspired me even more. So that guy never misses a beat and you can expect the exact same from me. And it's pretty cool that me and also Ben Break, my coach, is also going through prep at the same time. And he'll be back in July, which is kind of cool. We'll be going through that together. But less of the boring shit. Let's get this food done and um, get on with the day. For the purpose of this video, these are now fucking freezing. <sighs> <laughs> There's this thing called eating, right? And it sucks. But best believe when you see me in 10 weeks, I'll be fucking begging. <laughs> I'll be sucking dick for bagels. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Because I'll be fucking starving. But right now, I cannot be fucked eating this. It's been about six minutes since breakfast one. <laughs> so we're going to to breakfast too. So we've got 30 grams of protein, EHP. 100 grams of oats. I've got no other ingredients prepped ready, of course. Hey look, this is where the fucking 6,000 bananas come into play. <laughs> Nana, some for you. Good girl. So these are fair trades, so they're quite small, so we're gonna bang two of them in, because I've got 150 grams of Fucking banana, but who actually weighs out bananas? Do you weigh your banana? Mm -hmm. You don't have bananas because you don't have any bananas. <laughs> You've got ice cubes. <laughs> Speaking of ice cubes, assistant. No, <laughs> <laughs> and blueberries, please. Chop, chop. Did you see? Did you see Ben's YouTube when he claimed that he had an hundred gram of banana and just had a banana? I've also seen his YouTube where he claims that he's got a, um, a hairline from birth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> and then we're gonna go 100 grams of blueberries. Oh shit, I forgot what that number was. Look, 
when it comes to life, I'm a very jokey guy, not too serious. But when I come to when it comes to training and in gym, I'm fucking serious. So I don't actually weigh the almond milk in the off season. And it's probably why I make a lot of spillage when I do a <laughs> nutribullet. Nutri no, because it seeps into the oats now, so it comes down. But I don't actually weigh my, yeah, I don't weigh almond milk in off season. Darcy, ready? Oh. Six and a half hours later. Did your banana taste like shit? <laughs> Yeah, just a shit. Um, cool, we need to hurry the F up. So we need some creatine. We need some Oxy Shred. We're gonna go for hardcore today because we're doing a morning session. Um, and it's caffeine packed, 275 grams of, pro of caffeine, not protein. Um, and then pride pre-workout, we're gonna go for jungle fruits today, which is uh, another level. We are going to have squares bars and also that's my pre-workout. So only two of these and two of these. Double up. Three or four times. I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. Never let a hard time have a worse. Double up. I ain't telling no lies, I just. Yeah. I ain't telling no lies, I just. Five, four, three, two, that's time. I got to you that money. My dreams. Just like that. Five years younger. This is fucking piss. Don't buy it. It's absolute garbage. Makes you drive past that one. Yeah, but I don't need. It. I've already got nine points on my license. <laughs> <laughs> fucking insurance is fucking four thousand pound a year. Um, but you know, what go local hasn't got a fucking white monster. I know. Anyway. It's the best first place I've ever been. That's had every monster bought a white one. Garbage. Um, got my eyebrows slitting again. Rapid. <laughs> well, let's head to S20 train. Big arms and no well, chest and arms. So let's go. Let's go. This is. Is it jungle juice? Jungle fruits. <laughs> jungle juice, I pronounce. Jungle juice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a taste test. Let's do it. Try it's it. a double shot with a small amount of water, so it's going to be quite strong. That's not bad actually. Even though it's double shot. It's absolutely belter. Good, yeah. But. We come for the taste. Buy it, peak tan. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to go down. Chest and arms. I don't train in this gym, so I'm not going to bother logging today, so I'm going to train to feel. And I'm just going to make it up as I go, so it's not going to be my normal session. But it's going to be good for Josh because he's dieting really bad right now, so what we don't want to be doing is using free weights and you know risk an injury there um, so everything will be nice and fixed in um, and we will be able to still get a good pump for him um, and obviously for me still make progress on my training we're going to start off the atlantis incline plate press uh, we're going to start off with just a few sessions to get the shoulders warm bit of blood to the muscle then we're going to start loading uh, and then back off so let's get into it. Got a little bitch from the hood, I call her gang, she don't play with that bass shit. I be fucking this NBA nigga, bitch, you know I ain't never gonna say shit. New contract being like I play ball, little boy ain't nothing to play with. I told her pull up, she told me she can't, her nigga be sharing location. Yeah. I was riding in the ghost with a ghost gun, seen you out with your kids, so you old one. Had my man in the can, while you taking out the cash, you gon' pop with the mat like don't run. Don't run. <laughs> <laughs> eat food, kids, eat food. Eat your food. <laughs> From time to time, I don't show no emotion. But when he died, he had them racks, he had to make a go for him. I hang with the hitters who train the killers who send all the niggas on slow run. I got me a check and I brought me a cat and I went on the block and they know no I hang with all the murderers. I'm telling all the murderers. Nah, got every quick. 
but we never sacrificed for me. Rolls Royce swerving, famous bitch curving, seen you out in traffic, you was looking nervous. Ran it up on that shit, then they thought it was on purpose. I know for a fact I'm blasting mine, I never get too worried. Oh. Uh, I, I was gonna um, say something important here, but I was just thinking about trying to catch my breath after doing a double drop set. <laughs> so it's important when it comes to your training to standardize every single movement. So what do I mean by that? Every rep should look identical in terms of tempo, in terms of uh, form, in terms of accuracy. Now, obviously, when you're starting to reach fatigue, your concentric time is going to slow down dramatically because you're fighting that fatigue. But your form should never disappear. If you can nail that, your connection with your target muscle and your growth is going to grow exponentially. We are now on the Nautilus um, seated press. I feel like this is a good movement. I think it slightly converges, which is nice to get that pec nice and short. But we've done a couple of warm-up sessions, um, sets. As, we, as I said, we're training to, to feel today. Um, so it's gonna require a few more feeder sets just to find that weight. What we don't wanna do is jump the gun too early and try to press too much too soon and fatigue. So work our way up because we don't wanna waste energy, okay? So we just wanna kind of find out what our maximum load is going to be. Um, so yeah, let's start pressing. One of the biggest issues that I see with people lifting is coming out the hole too soon. There's a lot of using, I believe the word's inertia. You can come in and then boom, kind of use that momentum to get that weight back up. What you want to do is sit in that hole for a second, essentially, and then drag it through your chest. Instead of kind of coming out explosive, where you're gonna not have as much tension on the muscle. So sit into it, and then from here, it's just literally just drag forward. So if I drop the weight, this is what we're seeing where there's a bit of momentum. So what we want to do is come down, sit and hold for a second, and then from here, we're concentrating, connecting with the chest, and dragging through the chest, maximizing the tension on the target muscle. Usually I start on a, on a pec deck or a kind of fly variation, but it, literally everything was taken today. Um, so we are going to finish on it. So what we're going to be doing is increasing the volume here, and really drive as much um, blood to the muscle as possible making sure that you know we're training with true form we're not doing any of this bullshit and then uh, and then we're gonna move on to some arms maybe one more chest exercise dependent see what's about um, but yeah let's jump into supplies she wanna go to the mall got up and went to the pop up in Louis and saw her and ordered it all I'm in this bitch with the voice in the hair all these niggas is weddles ain't going this hard I'm from the P that's gang all these niggas know me I hate with all the murderers I'm paying all the lawyers for the murderers I'm putting all my on the you don't want to see me with the murderer. Then the last few reps got very, very heavy very quickly, but never once will you see me doing this because once you start crab clawing or having that hugging motion, you're taking away any tension that was applied to the chest here. So we want to get our elbows pretty much to meet, get our bicep across our chest, get it nice and short, and then control that eccentric. When we're here, Tension to go straight to bicep. Just press my bicep on there like that. <laughs> Just going into some bicep kills. Yeah, it looks bigger there, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, bicep kills, we're going to be doing them. Uh, the preacher machine was taken, so everything that I want today is gone. So we're just going to improvise. So we're just going to do some seated um, dumbbell kills. Just like this. The reason why I like this movement here, and just like I do with the preacher curl, is you're fixed in, okay? So when we're standing up, we tend to start swinging or leaning back, and this assists us with getting that weight up. So when we're nice and fixed in here, there's no possible movement, unless you're coming like this, 
but you're fixed in and you're just driving. What I also like is the range of motion. There's a lot more than what you would get by standing up. So by them coming out to the side like this, up, all the way down, because your body's not in way, and then just driving up. And now that is a little bit too heavy. Are you dieting or something, bro? I'm dieting. Dieting. <laughs> no, dieting. Yeah. Morgs, give him some fucking carbs, lad. Hang on, I gotta zoom in on that bit. <laughs> right. I don't know what this machine, this bar's called. I'm gonna call it adjustable bar. But I just like to set this up for my uh, my girls. I don't actually like to use a bar. I like to keep it nice and, pa and parallel instead of coming in like this. So come here, you just want to drive up. Keep the elbows in nice and tight. Now, you can see my elbows are slightly forward instead of here. Then why do I do that? Is to keep the tension on here. So, when we're coming down, instead of the weight dropping off like it would here, it's that your, your biceps are staying under tension the whole time. So here, and then what we do is drag it up through the bicep. I don't want to see yanking. I don't want to see leaning back. Just fixed in, squeeze. Drag it through. And then you'll have as big as peaks as me. None. We made it back for the bonus tip. So, one other thing that I see is people thinking that they need to get all the way up there. Where, realistically, here is where your biceps finish contracting. So, anything here is taking the load off the bicep and applying it to the front delt. So, just remember, fix it. Squeeze as far as the contraction goes. Control the eccentric. Come on. Oh. Oh. So, when we're thinking about setting up for this movement, what we like to do, I like to do personally, is drive my chest in. I'll still have my legs locked off, but I want my ass a little bit further back in the seat. When I'm in the position, I would retract my shoulder blades, and that stops me from rolling my shoulders and hitting my anterior delt. Also stops my shoulders coming up like this. We wanna keep all the tension on the triceps, so by having our shoulders back, our shoulders don't come up. So the tension stays on tricep, drive. And the stimulus is way better. Fuck that up. <laughs> I forgot what I'm talking about now. I don't know, mate. Cut. Yes. Oh. And again. Oh. Uh, key talking points with an overhead extension. Embrace the core. But when we're coming back, what we want to make sure is we're fully lengthening our tricep here because that's where we're going to be most challenged. And then as we're contracting, we want to make sure we're dragging through here, not pushing with our shoulders. So we're going to keep our shoulders nice and low, drag through the tricep, and then control that eccentric. And then your triceps are going to be as big as that guy's. <laughs> God, it's over. The agony, the pain. It's all worth it in the end, really, isn't it? Um, gonna do some posing. Then we're gonna do some physio because I am as stiff as a porn star's arm. As a cock on Viagra. Uh, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do next, mate. It's cool. Spending money on getting battered by a dude. <laughs> this is one of them massages that you're never that bothered about an happy ending, isn't it? <sighs>
<laughs> yeah, just get the fuck off me, mate. <laughs> It's important though, hey. <laughs> it's important that we uh, get in frequently with Rich. We're here every second week. Rich wants me here every week. I think it's for the cash. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in every second week leading into the show, just to make sure that we're loose, even though we're, I don't think we've even got any loose yet. But this body is fucking not moving. Um, it's just going to allow me to hit my shots better as well. One thing that we do really struggle with is trying to hit that back double by. Um, my shoulder rotation is fucking awful. Um, we need to get that over so we can actually see the zero peak that I've got. Um, so that's one area that we're trying to work on as well, but the whole body's pretty much fucked, eh, Rich? Yeah, but you'll find that... Once you drop that initial four or five kilo, yeah, that things will change very very quickly within your mobility and stuff like that, tightness. Yeah, you know, as soon as you get that that initial weight off, you'll be a different person, especially because you've come in and had regular treatment as well. Yeah, and obviously you're pausing in peak off season on six thousand calories. You know, you're doing all the right things, so it's going to be a big beneficial to you. Yeah. How's that feel? Shocking. <laughs> ah! Oh, that fucking IT man. Yeah. That's a mother that guy. <laughs> he was like, oh, that fucking sh like somebody's really. Slapping you with a lot of elastic bands, rapid. Not nice. And then that's like the shockwave bit, but then it goes like intramuscular or tendon or whatever the fuck it is. And then it's another ache. And then it shoots down into insertion point. Oh, yeah, right, then it did it all. Shoots into your knee. Oh, now it feels like needles, that one. Oh. And I don't do needles. <laughs> <laughs> right guys so that is kind of what my day-to-day -day life looks like i mean i don't, don't get haircuts and massages every day <laughs> but i train i eat i'm now going to go make some chicken and rice um but this is kind of what it's going to be looking like moving into to, to prep which starts in two days so I, essentially this is my pre-prep my last days of of, of high food because i imagine that's coming down by about 50 percent in two days time so i'm going to start running flat pretty soon but uh yeah we'll keep you posted we're going to be doing a um prep series so keep your eyes out for that i'll be doing vlog style videos as well so i'll probably do two youtubes a month one with smokes and then one by myself um, but i hope you guys enjoyed that I hope you took something away from that if not i hope you enjoyed watching me in pain with rich um until then, I shall see you on the next one.